in one of our previous lessons, we spoke about cardinal points where we said that that's north, south, uh, or now we shall eat. And then in between those, we've got, for example, northwest, um, southwest, southeast, and northeast. But in many applications in real life, these dis these uh, directions are not good enough. Um, I'll explain why now. Because, you know, some things might be, think of an aeroplane that is flying. An aeroplane doesn't only go north or northeast or east. You know, it might do in between. It might go very close. Whoa, what happened there? It might decide to go very close to the east line. But what would you call that? You can't call it east, northeast. East, northeast would be somewhere in the middle. But what if it flies somewhere there? Then what are you going to call it? You can't say close to the east line. Um, what if it's going to fly like that? And so when we're looking at things like other things in life where we have airplanes or boats or, you know, everything, cars that are driving, you don't only drive according to these eight directions. That would be really weird. So what we rather do is we rather use something called a bearing. Now a bearing goes all the way from zero all the way to 360. So it's much better. So it starts at zero degrees and then it goes all the way around to 360. So 45 degrees would be here, 90 would be there, or 45 would be in the middle. See how we start here and then we go just like a clock. Okay, it goes just like a clock, like a clock that you can used to tell the time, it goes the same like that. 135, 180 degrees. 225 would be over here, then this would be 270. This would be 315. So it's the same as the cardinal points, but we can also do other ones. We could say, what about five degrees? Okay, well there's five degrees. Maybe the aeroplane would like to go at 91 degrees. Okay, well then there it can go. Maybe it would like to go at um, 180, no, 100 and, let's say 200 degrees. That would be somewhere there. So you see that the we have much more, we have more flexibility when we have this. We have 360 different options. You know, we could go at 359. Once it gets to 360, it resets back to zero, by the way. Okay, so it goes all the way around like a circle, 360 degrees, so it gives us a lot more flexibility in the directions we can go. Whereas with your cardinal points, it's very limited to eight directions, okay? So that's why we use bearing. The, what I want you to know is that bearing starts up here at the zero position, just like a clock, and then it doesn't go anti-clockwise. No, it goes the same as a clock. It goes clockwise. When we say clockwise, it means like a clock. Now, let's quickly do an example. So we looked at an example like this in one of our previous lessons, but this one's a bit different. It says, determine the bearing from point X to the hospital. Okay, so these bearings, yeah, we're just going to um, stick to the basic one. So we know bearing is zero, then there's a 90 degree, 180, 270, and then this would come back to 360. And then in between that, if we look at exactly in between that, directly in between zero and 90 is the number 45. The number in between 180 and 90 is 135. The number in between these two is 225. And the number in between these two is 315. So it says, going from point X to the hospital, that would be 315 degrees. You can say 315 degrees. Number two, the post box, the post box to the taxi rank. So you're going from the post box to the taxi rank. So you're going at a bearing of 270 degrees, 270. This one says, from the church, which is here, to the bakery. Okay, now this one, it's not exactly 45 degrees, because 45 is in the middle. So if you had to go in the middle, it would go there. Well, I guess we could say, I mean, this question's not exact. So 45 is fine. Um, it will touch the, let's just quickly see something here. There. Yeah, it will touch the bakery. But I mean, if you wanted to say a little bit, so 
that would be 45. Don't worry, they're not going to ask you this in a test where you have to guess like this. That would make it much easier to understand. Um, or that would make it much easier to see exactly what it would be. So that would be about 45 degrees. Well, no, 45 would go something like there. And then 90 would go that way. So it will probably be like 60 degrees, something like that. If you say 45, 60, somewhere between there, that should be fine. So we'll just say 45, maybe 60 degrees, okay? But as I said, in a test, they will make that a lot more um, accurate because otherwise they're going to be getting so many different answers. Or maybe they'll give you this, but they'll say that the answer can be anywhere between um, 45 and, I don't know, 60 degrees, for example.